going on, family? It's your boy, Jaden Trades with Team Bull, your number one resource for all stock market education and everything trading. And today, I have a little different video for you. I'm going to go over how to take your first trade in the stock market, how to get started in the stock market, things you should know, position sizing, and anything else you could possibly imagine. Now, this is also going to be beginner-friendly and intermediate-friendly. Maybe you've been trading and learning for a few months. Maybe you've been trading and learning for a few years and you're in a slump. I'm going to get you right. We're going to get you set up. And all I ask is if you get some value from this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, what you want to learn, what I can do better to help you learn. And real quick, before we get started, if you want to trade live with us and learn in real time every single day, we trade live in our premium Discord on Voice. The link is below for that, as well as the link to the Team Bull Trading Academy, which has slow, in-depth A to Z education beyond this YouTube channel. That being said, I love teaching you guys free here. Love this channel. I will do it forever and ever. But those options are below. I think you'll get a lot of value from them if you check them out. Let's get started. So you saw or you've been seeing traders on the line post days of five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a day. You watched a few YouTube videos of traders becoming millionaires, and you thought to yourself, hmm, I think I want to make thousands of dollars a day on the line too. Well, I think we've all been there at one point. That's why I personally started trading as well. I grew up very poor and was like, I want to learn a skill that I can make thousands of dollars a day online. I want to change my life, and that's what led us here. That is what I'm going to show you on how to make your first trade, as we do all have to go through the learning curve, and we all it all starts with one trade. So where do we start, right? Beginner trader, don't really know what's going on. Or maybe you've been trading for a while and you're in a slump. Maybe you've been trying to learn, but you're not really getting anywhere. Here's where I would start, right? First, of course, you got to get your brokerage. You got to, you know, Weeble, TD Ameritrade, there's Robinhood. Wouldn't really recommend that. I'd recommend something with a charting software. So here we have TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim, right? I have our big chart here. This is the one year, one day chart for SPY. Now, First and foremost is you need to learn how to read these candlesticks, right? If you look at the chart and you think, oh my gosh, my head hurts, I have anxiety, I don't know what the heck's going on, you're probably not in a good space to take your first trade, right? So first things first, get a book, Technical Analysis for Dummies, and we teach all this in the academy as well, but you know, basically just learn how to read a chart, right? Learn the basics, what do these candlesticks mean, what is volume, and learn what you're looking at here, right? Next, okay, is, you know, let's say we're going into the day, you know, 7.30 here in Colorado, here Mountain Time, and the market's about to open, right? And you're sitting there, you're nervous, you want to take your first trade, but you don't want you don't want to lose, right? Here's the reality of it is you don't want to lose. And and here's how we can mitigate that. You know, no one wants to lose. I'm six years into trading. Heck, I don't want to freaking lose, right? People that have been trading for 20 years don't want to lose. But you have to be able to eliminate emotions from your trading. And when you first start, those emotions are going to be high. You know, that's the number one thing traders don't do is they don't eliminate emotions from their trading, right? So they're obviously going to be high. You've never taken a trade. Whether you like it or not, your heart's pounding, your palms are sweating, your armpits are sweating, and you're thinking, you know what? It's going down, right? It, it's happening. This is going down. So how do we alleviate that? How do we get rid of that, okay? We start by taking small position sizes. So let's say we're going to watch one stock, which I also recommend you do. So we're going to watch SPY. You know, you're sitting here, you're in the Team Bull Trading Discord, where we do our entries and exits live every day, trade live on voice, and we're waiting for the first trade. I would focus on one stock that moves fairly slowly. In this case, we have SPY. It's an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. Now, the reason I say that is because if we go here, we see on the option chain, we have lots of different expiration dates, right? Lots of different options, and these premiums typically move very slowly. Now, this being said, too, this is a whole other topic for another day, right? If we're trading options, you need to know what an option is before you even think about clicking this button. If you don't know what an option is, if you don't know if a call's on the left, the put's on the right, what in the money, out of the money is, don't you dare think about trading these things because they will smoke you. I say that out of love. You know, we're an options trading group chat. You know, we trade live every day, but I don't want you to get into a stock, get into an option and not know what the heck you're doing. You buy it and you're like, all right, how do I close it? I don't know. Jay Don, Jay Don, how do I close it? That's what I don't want you to happen, right? So you got to know that, you know, you got to know what your calls and puts, right? What all these mean, what these premiums mean, what the bid is, what the ask is, and all that as well. So make sure you know those terms. Um, we have all that terminology as well in the Discord. Um, so, right, we're looking at these. We know what an option is, right? Let's see, you got that part already. You got, you know what a candlestick is. You know what these mean. You know what an option is. You know how to change your time frames. We're typically trading on the five day, five minute chart. That's what I, I would recommend you to watch when you're trading, at least day trading, right? Now, if you're swing trading, that's that's another topic for another day. Um, but if you're day trading, you're trying to take your first day trade, right? Five day, five minute chart or watch and market open. Um, that is what we're going to look at. So I think it's also worth noting too, there's so much to throw in this video. I feel like I'm like throwing a whole book at you, putting technical analysis for dummies all in like a 10, 15 minute video. So another note too, that I want you guys to keep taking these notes as well, right? 
is that it's very volatile. We are very volatile in the first you know, 15 minutes, right? Typically, we see a lot of opening flush or massive moves up. And you might have been trading for a while now, right? Let's say you've been trading for a few weeks and you still haven't taken a trade, um, or you've been learning trading, excuse me, uh, maybe even a few months or tech. I, I would doubt that you've been trading a few years and you haven't taken a trade or learning trading for a few years. But if you have, then, you know, this could benefit you too. Um, the first 15 minutes or so are typically extremely volatile. And if you're not careful, you'll get yourself smoked, especially on stocks like Tesla, Amazon, Roku, all the big ones that move very volatilely, you know, have massive upswings and downswings. They will absolutely destroy you if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not careful in those opening minutes. So I recommend you maybe avoid those when you're first starting trading. And if you are going to trade them, if you are going to trade them, we got to eliminate that emotion one contract at a time, one share, one contract. Now, why is that? You say, Jaden, I'm not going to make any money off one contract. I'm not going to make any money off one share. You're right. You, you, you won't make much money, but you also won't lose much money. Okay. And that's extremely, extremely, extremely important, right? Because, you know, let's say we're going, we're trading and we buy a contract right here, right? Buy a contract right here and um, it goes against us, right? It starts going down. Uh, you're you're going to panic, right? You're going to panic. Um, you're going to see your money going down, especially if it's your first trade. Now, again, I'm referencing your first trade. We're going over very beginner stuff here. So if you buy a contract here, so what's going on, you're going to panic, right? But what if you're in five to 10 contracts? You're going to be freaking the heck out. You're going to lose way too much money. And that right there, right? That one trade is going to set that emotion in you. Okay, goodness. I had this, my first experience. I lost a ton of money. Um, I didn't position size right. Now I feel emotion when I trade this certain stock. If I do a certain thing, we want to avoid that. You know, let's say we take one contract here or five contracts here, 10 contracts here, and it rips up. That is also going to give us a problem later on. Now you say, Jacob, why would that give us a problem later on, right? I bought in here, went up to here and I made a bunch of money. You know, I, I went all in, I made a bunch of money. I always say, and I will preach this to the day that I am in my coffin getting buried and I can't trade anymore, is that the worst thing that can happen to a new trader is getting in and making a bunch of money by accident. I saw it happen over and over again with the AMC stuff back in the day. I saw it happen over and over again with the GameStop stuff back in the day. Right, people came in, they made a bunch of money, they got cocky, they didn't know what the heck they were doing, and they ended up getting smoked and losing every single penny. Watched it happen over and over, and it breaks my heart more than I can say. So, back to this, we buy one contract here, we watch it go up, we make, we don't make much, we make a little money, but we we realize that okay, you know, we see this, we bought in here, we realize our trading plan made a tiny bit of money, you know, maybe we try that again. The whole point of trading, right, of taking your first trade, is to find what works for you. You got to find what works for you guys. And that's so, so important. You know, you can go and join any of these group chats. You know, heck, I own a signals group chat. I own what I think is the best signals group chat in the world. But I will personally tell you, you will not get rich off signals. You won't get rich off signals. They're great. They're a help. They're, you know, there's a lot of education in them. But if you don't know the why behind your trades, if you don't know the why behind your, you, know, you getting emotion in your trades, you're not going to make money in this long term. I'm sorry. Always gonna keep it real with you. You know I'm always gonna keep it real with you here. You know that's what we do. You know I don't come for money. So when I tell you this stuff, it means a lot to me because you know not coming for money. I know how valuable it is. I know how valuable your time is. That's why. Again, let's go on the carousel again. Back to square one. Taking this first trade can be so so important. Starting out trading can be so so important because if you do this wrong, if you start wrong, you know maybe you're even three months in. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, you know what? This is my restart. Restart the right way restart the right way. Small position sizes, know what you're doing, know how to read a candlestick, know how to read volume, and make sure you have a trading plan. So we're sitting here right again. Let's go over this. We're watching SPY. The market's open first 15 minutes. And we're like, you know what? When SPY comes down to 456.75, we're going to buy calls, right? That's our trading plan. That's our trading plan for our first trade, right? So what do we do? For one, we should write that down. Write down your trading journal, what your trading plan is, how you're going to map this out, how you're going to do it. Number two, we come down to 456.75. One contract or one share is what we're going to do, right? Low position size, as low as we could possibly go. You're not going to make, you know, squat off. You're not going to make no, not, not much money, right? But you're going to build principle. You're going to realize, okay, you know what? If I would have lost, I wouldn't have lost much. But if you win, you're going to follow your trading plan. You're going to do that, excuse me, without emotion, right? 
We're gonna build those positive skills of trading without emotion, right? That's what I want you to do. That's what we do in this channel. I try to be as educational as I possibly can on this channel. I want you guys to win from the bottom of my heart. I truly want you guys to win, right? I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a trader, I'm a hustler. I want you to be all those things. I want you to live your best life. And making these first few trades and building solid trading practices is so important. You can't have a big old building without a solid foundation. This is what this is gonna do. It's gonna build you a solid foundation. So taking this first trade, low position sizes, right? Have a trading plan. Know what the heck the red and green means, right? Know how to read this, know how to read volume, right? And go very, very light. So now let's go final steps, right? We go, we're ready to trade this, right? We're ready to trade. Taking the trade at 456.75, okay? So we go here, we're watching this 456.75, right? We're watching it, we're ready to take our day trade right here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is this, right? If you're trading this, we're gonna go, go over to trade, find the exact contracts we wanna trade. So let's say we're about to take this trade together. Um, I typically like to trade a few days later expiration. So we go here, 20, 21st January, 2022, right? We go here, let's choose, let's trade these 457s or let's say 457s, right? Just for, just for our sake. We're gonna go right click this, go over. We're gonna send this to red one, okay? Boom, we got that. Now we're gonna go over to Active Trader here. We're gonna get this all cleaned up because this is an absolute mess. We're gonna go with two, right? So we're gonna go with red one right here. So this is gonna have the option contract right here, okay? Option contract is right here, right? Equity price is on the left. This is the stock price. Option price is on the right. So we go over here. We're gonna set this Active Trader to one share, right? Or one contract, excuse me. One contract right here, right? We have auto send on. So when we press buy market or sell market, right? If, let's say we do buy market, right? We come down, we get 456 on equity, 456.5, this is XPX, excuse me, let's go to SPY. So we go over here and we touch our buy-in price, right? We go and we're here, we're right here, we're ready to rock and roll. We touch it, boom, we buy our one contract, there's buy market. Okay, it's obviously got rejected because we're not in market hours, but the point is, is that we buy when we get to that point, right? We set our stop loss mentally. You know, let's say we're buying at 383 and we want to lose a max of $30. That's where we're comfortable with losing on this trade. That's what fits our trading plan, right? We're going to sell that contract when, if we're at 383 buying, when we get down to 353, okay? So we watch this happen. Let's go see what actually happened on this trade. Um, go here to what time was this? It was 832, bada bing, bada boom. Um, let's go here, 8.32, okay. Now looking at this, at this time of 8.32, we would have been paying actually a little more for these premiums, right? We would have been paying around 4.20, um, 4.19. But you see here, we bought in here, right? Let's say we had that $30 stop loss. Okay, this is a really good example. $30 stop loss here, we bought in. We only had, you know, 20 cents worth of, or 10 cents, excuse me, with the drawdown. 10 cents worth of drawdown, okay? So the max loss we had was 10 cents per contract. Now we go down, we rebound. Now listen to this too. So, 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 so important. Please put your listening caps on. If we would have been in massive, our whole account, and we saw the small little dip, we would have freaked the heck out. and like, you know what? I gotta get out. I'm gonna lose all my money. You probably would have sold after, you know, a five, 10 cent dip right down to here, just, you know, out of, out of anxiety, out of, you know, emotion, and then watched it rip back up. Versus if we're in our one contract, we have, you know, 10 cents of drawdown, and we, then we have a mass move up all the way to 5.0. You know, we would have made, then you're 25% in those contracts. Incredible, right? 25% gain in those contracts. And you would have more than likely followed your trading plan because you were in so lightly. That's why I say again, when you're gonna take your first trade, have that trading plan set, you know, have your options set up over here. I have more videos just on this as well, by the way, on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, you know, have this ready when it hits your level, buy market, boom, buy it. We're gonna hit it, we're in our option contract. We're ready to sell it, boom, sell market. Obviously there's more than that you could do. You could buy the ass, sell the bid. Um, there's plenty more hotkeys. I have videos on that as well. But that's the simplicity of it, guys, is that follow your trading plan, low position sizes, and keep the end goal in mind, okay? I need you, as my friends of this app, as my friends of the stock market community, to keep an end goal in mind. So, being said, I hope this video is helpful. I give my exact trades in our Discord every single day. I have a team of the best traders I've personally found on the internet and on this earth and as well giving their exact trades 
we're a group of bosses. We want to see you win. I hope that we get the chance to work with you. Keep learning, keep earning together. God bless. Team Bull, links are below. Take care.